Well, firstly, we're delighted to be back uh, at Senex LCV as the headline sponsor again this year. Uh, it really aligns with our mission for clean and smart mobility, uh, really to bring that ingenuity to life uh, and to create a positive future for all of us. And that's why PA's view of the ecosystem is that this is really something about the intersection of energy transition and transport and mobility. And that's how we've really focused, uh, how we help businesses and the government on this agenda. We think it's really important to break down the silos uh, in clean and smart mobility. That's why we think that bringing the energy expertise together with the transport mobility expertise is really important to that. It's also true that we need to bring together all the other competencies from design, engineering, projects, consulting, to be able to do that whole end-to-end -end innovation. So PA right now, we're working with people across the whole ecosystem. We work with government, including the Office for Zero Emission Vehicles, helping them to deliver their policy programs and get the investment out there to make electric vehicle charging really happen. We're also working across the whole spectrum of the private sector ecosystem, charge point operators, uh, businesses with fleets, energy companies, uh, and, and even uh, electric vehicle OEMs, people constructing and making this next generation of vehicles. Vehicle sales are going great in, elect, uh, in electric vehicles. You know, August figures just in up 70% year on year. So that's fantastic, isn't it? Maybe we're getting towards the end of the early adopters, but I think there's still lots of opportunity there. Uh, and as everyone sees the infrastructure and gets that confidence, that will be great. We're also seeing huge growth driven by corporate fleets uh, as well in the latest figures. Well, I think we're at a really interesting point in the, the evolution of this uh, transition to net zero. Uh, wind back 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it was a, st a strategic investment. It was a, a vision for the future. We're now at a point where this is becoming real. It's becoming uh, a genuine economic opportunity. Uh, we are moving from those early adopters and the visionaries to uh, the, the followers or the laggards, the people that day to day might not have originally thought about moving to electric or another zero carbon fuel, but we have to make it happen. And so the challenges we're facing now are much more practical. How do you make this ecosystem work effectively? Uh, and really, just the growth of this event shows uh, that you're having this blossoming of companies all trying to work together on uh, solving this problem between transport and energy for the future. Well, if you, if you look at across this ecosystem between transport and energy, I think uh, with our clients, uh, we're, we're coming across a number of themes that come up again and again uh, of increasing levels of complexity. So to start off with, uh, it's about your vehicle choice. What size, what powertrain, what propulsion uh, works for you, is affordable for you, or works within your operational requirements. Then one level more complicated, but connected is energy. How do you make that work? How do you do smart charging, cost-effective charging? What's the mix of power? Uh, uh, how do you get your connections to the grid? A stage beyond that is how do you create a digital architecture to share insights about how the ecosystem can be effectively planned and effectively operated? And it all boils down to the most complex of all, which is with all that taken into account, how do you make the investment decisions so that transitioning to net zero uh, is not just going green, it's going green without going into the red? Well, look, this is uh, an event where you have a very rare coming together of all players across the ecosystem, from uh, the car companies to the providers of infrastructure to people developing new technologies, uh, and it's a question of sharing ideas, exhibiting uh, technologies, understanding the, the state of the art. Uh, but most importantly, and I've been doing some of this, I know Warwick has, is that you agree with other businesses things that you will do after the event. New business propositions, new concepts that we want to take to the next level, and that hopefully by this time next year, we'll have brought this stuff into market.